Hello and welcome to Hakista TV and I'm gonna share to you something scary about Flipper Zero. A proof that Flipper Zero has a rolling code implementation. that video as you can see flipper zero has a rolling code implementation i was so curious about this that while playing with my old car alarm system this is something that i can only do once with hack rf1 but with flipper zero i can do it repeatedly apparently not a lot of people know this but buried under the flipper documentation is that they have a rolling code implementation and a whole list of supported vendors. Now, I will show you how easy it is to copy the signal using Flipper Zero. If you go to sub gigahertz and go to read and you click the alarm, as you can see, it can read the algorithm that had been used, the vendor of the alarm. It means that you can replay the signal with no problem. Compare that to, let's go, compare that to a proprietary alarm that comes default with your modern cars like this. So you can see it cannot read it, but if you go to config, you go to detect raw. So you can see the raw signal can be captured. That means that this signal that had been captured, you can only use it once. Unfortunately, most of the aftermarket car alarms, especially the ones that are made in China, is included in the supported vendor list of Flipper Zero. That's why if you are thinking of changing the default car alarm systems, always check if the rolling code algorithm is included in the list of vendors using your Flipper Zero. And if you enjoyed this video, please check out my other hacking videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.